Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Eternal Cylinder. Last we left off, we were ready to voyage across the ocean and towards what looks like a couple of uh, three geometric pillars. And before we do that, we need to convert one of our trebum into a happy little fishy water boy. And which one is going to be given that blessing? Who is going to be our fishy water boy? I'm thinking probably Ghost, because she has the, uh, the 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 crystalline skin, which we no longer need. We'll keep it anyway, but we no longer need it. However, we do need to have the uh, like this one here, the fiend jumpfish, which turns them into a more amphibious creature. And we may as well have the leap tail as well. That one allows them to uh, just like swim faster and leap out the water. So we're gonna make Ghost the wonderful crystalline fishy one. Go ahead and oh, I can't. I'm in the water. Go ahead and eat that and that, and we'll move both of these over to another tab over up near. And let us see how wonderful, glorious, amphibious transformation occur. <gasps> and there she is, webbed feet and of course the amphibious body. Now this means that she's not going to lose any stamina while swimming. So we can just launch ahead, enjoy the wonderful ocean, and uh, oh, there's even more all of them all around here. And we can jump even higher out of the water. <gasps> Oh no, look at that, it's a giant organic cube. It's a giant elder, he is huge. And he has really squinty eyes and a really sad trunk. Look at him. Wait, I think the elder, look at him. He's so sad looking. All right then, mate, let's see what you have to say. The Tremon were happy to find a friend resting on the island. However, they quickly realized he was not well. The elder told them, what a pleasant surprise to find a group of such brave little adventurers. Oh, I'm glad to see your faces before my end. I'm sorry to tell you that this structure will not ascend on its own. I was hoping someone might bring the lenses that power this palace before the cylinder came. But as I can see, you do not know of what I speak. And this is simply not to be. But fear not, there are other palaces in the waters of this great desert. And resting in the golden dunes of these marvelous plains, you will find the hidden treasures that can awaken and lift to their majestic heights the Trebum palaces that were once the pride of our people. Swim over to the other side and seek the Trawala that guards my brother's temple. He will explain what you must do. I wish you luck. Know that my spirit will dance and sing when you succeed where I have failed. Oh, what an ending. Oh, can I just say, imagine like obviously being sick and being stuck here and just seeing the cylinder like ominously approach you and it like, imagine it's really, really far on the horizon and now it's this close. That'd be terrifying to experience. Right. So before we got the towers, oh, I see something over there that I do want to grab, another third eye. Except we actually need a couple of these to get the permanent third eye, uh, what do you call it? The <laughs> mutation. And we have another permanent mineral processor, which I need to spit my way out. Oh, <laughs> yeet. There we go. Fantastic. What we have to do right now, in fact, is to go over and chill this little happy boat thing. And all I need to do is spray water at it. Perfect. And <laughs> we just go for a bit of a swim. I like this. I really like how that we actually have uh, like objects and vehicles like this to control. Oh, is there anything around here? Oh, we just went through the <laughs> we just went through the barrier. I was wondering if uh, these objects here had anything on them, but I can't really afford to check now because the cylinder is marching its way forward. Well, thankfully we're already here. Wee! And here we are. In the desert, for real this time. The actual real desert, and not what I kept on thinking of the desert before. Ah, oh, just look at that man, just the way he stretches across the horizon. Oh, well, you can't see it right now, obviously. <laughs> on either side. Oh, what are those? Ooh. Oh, right, yeah, from the Garlings. Oh, I forgot that they do that. That is creepy. Do not like, do not like. And we're burning. Oh, I need to find something to prevent us from burning. Oh, I forgot about this. This is actually like a really hard part. Or maybe I just got very unlucky. Oh, not you. Not you. Um, yes, those do not like. I do not like those by the slightest. I need to find a mutation quickly before I burn to a crisp. And the bad part is I can't remember what that mutation looked like. 
Burning sun. During the brightest hours of the day, the desert is too hot for the Trebum. Unless you stay in the shade or get into the water, your Trebum will slowly lose health. Only a protective mutation can keep them truly safe from the scorching sun. Yeah, and that is the one that I cannot remember what it looks like and this might kill me. Something was roaming the desert. Something that did not belong there. No doubt the Eternal Cylinder had once again sent forth its cruel servants. Perhaps it had taken notice of the Trevor and was seeking to stop them from accomplishing their goals. Ah! God, that scared the crud out of me. Quickly eat that. Uh, so, this is the, or oh, the Articulated Angstock, or something else I just scanned, and we'll quickly have a look at that, so it's going to flash us, no, do not flash me, <laughs> that means that we'll lose a whole bunch of mutations, which I probably just did now, I need to get away from that as quickly as I can, but before we do that, the Exenerator is capable of emitting a flash of energised particles that petrify any organic matter in its proximity, it will doggedly pursue its target as the flash mechanism charges, trying to keep it in range, and I would read what the other creature is, but uh, we kind of need to get away from this music, where even is it? I'm not sure. Oh, it was right there. Okay, then. <laughs> Let's just all quickly eat this. Perfect. And this music I don't mind having. I, I don't mind the Tongle Crops music. So as for the other creature we just scanned, that was the Articulated Angstock. The Articulated Angstock is a serenithoroid organism capable of extremely rapid growth. The main body of the animal is generally buried, with only a small protuberance visible above ground. When it detects sound or movement, it will sprout into action, forming limbs and extensions to capture its prey. Articulated angstocks grow in clusters, as illustrated by the old Trebum saying, when you run from one angstock, make sure you're not running into a forest. I.e., don't focus so much on avoiding one problem that you end up creating more. I like that. Empty angstock husks left behind after the organism has retreated back into the ground are generally not dangerous. I like that. That's actually a really good saying and meaning. Oh, and I think I just spotted the thing I need, I believe. Uh, no, it's just lava. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe I can't find a mutation to survive the desert just yet then. I'd say, uh, is there like any other objectives around here or is it just the one upgrade shrine? I think it's just the one upgrade shrine. Oh, actually. I do see something over here. Hello, you are a bigger crystalline, what do you call it? Let me just quickly chuck you over there. I'm going to grab you quickly. Yeet that eat that and what does this give us then this gives us an ancient colony of gastrointestinal microbiota possibly produced by a megafaunal ancestor of the Kabarok. that the colony is still alive after such a vast amount of time has passed is truly remarkable i don't think that's the one i need i cannot remember what that is actually and i'm very hesitant to use it on mag um who could i i could probably use it on vinesh actually vinesh looks like a nice willing test object Vinesh, go eat the <laughs> microbial um, active colony. Oh god, I'm so bad with words today. <gasps> ah, it's a camouflage one. All right then, so now Vinesh is all camo. Nice, fitting. But otherwise, uh, let's uh, yeah, let's go ahead then and just get inside the upgrade temple, and we'll just kind of mess around with that for a moment. Right, don't mind me then, as I am being chased by both a Tongle Grub and by the cylinder itself. That's a bit ominous, isn't it? Oh, hello. And just went flying into one of the- Oh, I'm stuck! Get out! <laughs> and as you can see in the horizon over there, there's also a flashing yellow spark. That, I do believe, is in that you can see right there. It's a giant, kind of broken looking lens. We'll discover that in a moment. As I quickly get myself to safety. Now, I've done a fair little bit of grinding since the last clip, since, of course, you know, went to the Upgrade Shrine, had to all the levels, all that kind of wonderful good stuff that we've already seen before, but I also found a bunch of new mutations. Now then, I discovered a skin tree bark, which I don't actually have yet, so I cannot survive in the desert just yet. However, it is currently night time, so we're fine for the time being, but now I know what to look for. We also found a Tetra Crab, which is a four-legged, or it gives you four legs, that allows you to run faster. I really like that one, but I prefer the jumpy one more because jumping is a lot more just um, useful in terrain. However, that one, as I said, is quite handy. There's also the prickly poem, which covers your creature in spines and spikes. Barbago's foot, which allows for a super stomp, so when you jump, you can jump again and stomp hard onto the ground. One that I've yet to really find a use for, but hey, handy. The two billion pod, if you wanted to cosplay as the cylinder itself, well, <laughs> there you go. And the pyrophile fruit, which allows you to breathe fire. Yes, breathe fire. 
Oh, how I wish there was a Trebum mutation for wings, because imagine that, just having wings and fire breath. I know it's cheesy, but come on, that's such a missed opportunity. Oh, it, it is no longer night time. Well, it kind of is night time, but I started burning for a moment there. Aha, uh -huh, but this is why we can have the fire breathing trunk. Now, who do I give the fire breathing trunk, trunk, chunk to? Let's give that to Loki. So there we go, go ahead and do that. Get our big, lovely, <laughs> pink, white girl. Bloop. There we go. And I can do this. No, do that again. I can do this. Run away! You see how it all sets on fire? How <laughs> the fire is spreading? <laughs> well, I heard something stomp, beneath, uh, stomp around us. I thought it was one of the accelerators, but I just uh, ended up exploding my trebum instead. Good job, me. Good job. Oh! I did hear one! Oh, Jesus! Hello! Right. Uh, well, I don't think anything's actually happening around here. I was hoping it would give me something, but it's just... No, my mutations! Ah, you ass! Oh, I just lost so much. You know what? I'm, I'm just... Oh dear, no, I crashed! Oh boy. That was unfortunate. In all the seriousness though, let's go check out that lens, which I have to say was a lot larger than I first anticipated. Half buried in the sand. A monumental structure made of glass and metal was gazing at the sun. Was this one of the lenses the Elder had mentioned? Without the knowledge required to use it, the Trevum would have to leave it behind. Oh no! Poor lens! So that is not the lens that we need. But don't worry, there'll be more along the horizon. Now then, what do we actually have to do here? Um, do not know because the map is foggy, so let's check out the beams of light. There's only the one, so I reckon the only thing to do is actually to go and check out the temple. Which kind of makes sense. Temples are normally quite uh, large objectives. In the meanwhile, I see a third eye over here. I did just hear the accelerator again behind me, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave that alone. I've got my third eye mutation now, or at least a permanent one. Uh, and it seems to be like a much smaller area in general. So I don't think there really is much else to do, probably no caves or whatever. So let's go check out the temple itself. <laughs> well, that works. <laughs> I don't think we're safe from it because as we've seen, they can like just jump and teleport or whatever, but uh, that's, that's satisfying. I'm, I'm happy about that. Well, well. The Trebon was surprised to see this temple was protected by some sort of defense mechanism. Was this some futile attempt to keep out the servants of the Cylinder? Or was there another reason, now lost to history? Now as you can see, we've got the two eyes looking at us, but this is simply a line of sight puzzle. Such as to block the vision from one, from one eye and it will cancel a corresponding border. Now before I do any of that, Let's quickly take a look at this then, and I would like to get our third eye mutation permanently installed. Awesome. And I don't think I can do any other ones just yet. No, got a bit of a way to go then. Right then, what do we have around here then? What are these? Oh, what are these freaky things? They're just mushrooms. Okay, good. I like food. Oh, we've got a big weird sphere, which I'm assuming I can probably push around. Oh, there we go. Spray! Spray it harder! Oh, no, no, going the wrong way! Oh, God, jeez, ah! Right, well, that works too. <laughs> Let's everyone come from behind. We'll try again, together. In that direction, please. Why are you going closer? Go the opposite! Oh, goodness. Ah, I don't think that's quite working the way it's intended. Um, well, since it apparently seems to be going towards us, what if I try again like this? No. It's clearly meant to go down there, but it just doesn't want to. Right, let's just uh let's just move all of you out, I guess. Okay, here's the plan. I am line of sighting the beams onto little watery statue friend. Now the trouble with me. I'm gonna race ahead so none of them can catch up. <laughs> there we go. So now they're all stuck in there. Oh damn it! And they came out anyway. It's a very, very simple puzzle, it's just not working, I swear. We made it! Finally! Right, what do we have over here then? We have, uh, oh, we've got a new item entirely. What is this then? So, we just unlocked uh, a piece of which it is not giving me the description for. Oh, wait, no, there it is. 
uh, smoke bulb. That smoke bulbs are found on certain roots that grow from fishes in caves that contain lava. It is not clear whether they are a separate organism or an enlarged node of some kind. I don't actually remember what that one does. So, let's go find them. So it turns out earlier when I gave Loki the, um, oh, what's missing there? The ice, anyway. When I gave Loki the fire trunk, I forgot I'd already given it to Azur. So instead, Loki can then have this new trunk mutation and see what that actually does. Let's see then. Allows the trapper to eject a dense cloud of smoke, which can serve as camouflage. Neat. All right then. Right, so let's go use our new superpower. Put the dense cloud of smoke right there and just walk straight past God all the crack dust. <laughs> Perfect. Right, meanwhile, we have food, lots and lots of food, which I will happily eat right now because apparently I've gone through a lot of it just trying to move that stupid giant ball. So around here, we have a treasure chest right there. Got some more crack dust over here, which I'll just happily slurp right, right now. Nom, nom, and nom. Perfect. We've got a little platform, which goes down. I've made that mistake before. I'm not going down there again. <laughs> that just sets you back down to the beginning of the map or the... Uh, temple and otherwise what do we have in here we have oh just a good old standard things we have another crab rock shell and some hydration i'll go ahead and just eat all of that now if i remember correctly it is we need this one and uh by the way if you can hear a bit of a beeping in the background i do apologize <laughs> can't do anything about it so we nearly have that one done we just need that weird looking fruit the hat mushroom i'll go ahead and trigger that to scan although we can't get it in here of course and otherwise, we have this. Oh, there we go. So this one's kind of self-explanatory. Just gotta make sure that uh, we weave the line through the path. Uh, got a nice big old Celestial Travala statue right there. Otherwise, go ahead and forward. Oh, and we got the map. Also, oh, there is a cave nearby, aha, so. We're pretty much done with the temple now, but now we actually have the map activated. We can see there's a cave nearby, which I will go check out. Uh, probably cut it out of this the same, you know, thing we've seen before. But otherwise, that is this area pretty much done. Lovely. Oh, this is a cute little small cave. I love just like the general aesthetics and all these. Sadly, it's just another middle, middle processor. As much as I want those before, we already have one. Don't need it again, but hey, let's get all the extra XP. What an inhospitable place this was. The air was suffocating and the heat was almost unbearable. The Trebon would have to make good use of their abilities to overcome the obstacles before them. But who would choose to actually live here? What terrible things they must have endured in the outside world. Right, that is a good question. Now, first of all, we finally got a mutation to survive in this harsh area. I've also got a part that I needed to learn the paragenic trunk to a permanent mutation, of which I'll be awarding to Ghost, as she currently has a uh, one of the few ones that doesn't have any trunk mutations at all, and I will be needing this one quite a bit. Now, yes, this is the shrine I have been dreading. Uh, so this one relies a lot on your AI not being spazzes, and as we all know, that's usually a lot to ask for in any game. Because this lava area involves, well, a lot of lava. And there's a high chance of my tremor just falling in and dying. So lava does a ton of damage. Uh, the first time I ever did this place, I lost lots and lots of tremor. It sucked. So, let's just quickly grab all of these then. I've got a feeling we'll need a whole bunch of these quite urgently. Ah, uh, let's see then. I think it was, where was it that I found? Aha, over here. This is why I need a pyrogenic trunk. Just quickly grab all of that. I'm gonna set this on fire. I'm gonna quickly move away before it explodes. And yeah, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> and as you can see, that flame is gonna march upwards and activate that sigil. And that sigil will unlock gates for later on. Go ahead and have a look at that. Ding, lovely. Right, the next one I believe is over here, no? No, right, we're not meant to be here just yet. As you can see, the grates are currently covering the buttons. And yes, that is indeed yellow light. That is going to shred our mutations, unless I use the smoke mutation. Which, th thankfully, we've got a whole bunch from over there. Right, we came from up there. Uh, so I think it's over here that I need to go then. Uh, yep, here we go. 
I really like how the game really like shows you what you need because as you can see right next to you know this flammable piece is the flammable mutation right there and as we saw earlier next to the yellow lights we need the smoke mutation which was spawned right next to it I really like just how the game subtly kind of points in the direction of things that you need or how to solve certain puzzles it, it really goes to show just how much thought the devs put into this it's really really nice right we need the square mutation oh and that has also not been activated yet uh can i can i still do it let's go find a frozen can i still activate that even though the grates are in the way oh yes i can oh good okay then no light oh interesting but hey it worked uh do i need to go down there yet oh i can see that i do right what am i gonna do then be a little bit cheeky I'm going to roll all the way back, 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 back even. <laughs> Bring all of my Trevor into this room with me. Everyone's all together. Because I need to go down that path. Oh, wrong way. I need to go down that path and activate that one little uh, flammable branch. And I want them all to be stuck in the hallway together so they can't follow me in. So, right here. And quickly come back before they follow me. Oh, whoops. Yeah, you can see how they're all struggling. Sweet. Now, I did see something down here as well, actually. Uh, just a cube mutation, some crack dust. We don't need any of that. Look, as much as I love the crack, we don't need that right there. I'm going to skip that. Oh. Hey. There's another big root. Oh, I, right, I see. So, yes, uh, this entire line of vines, which is still going, by the way, <laughs> it lasts for a while. That's going to break down the stalactites to offer a new path to get to all, to all that. But again, I don't want to risk my trevor dying to lava. So I'm actually going to skip it entirely. I'll be giving ghosts the smoke one. So I'm going to switch in between just because I've got so many of the smoke ones available. It just kind of makes sense to stick onto the same trevor instead of constantly switching back and forth. And what I'll do then is I'll put the smoke here. And I'm just hoping that blocks me from the light. It seems to actually. Oh, it seems to do. Oh, no, no, no. I wasn't paying attention. Come on. Yeah, right. I did that wrong. Mm, but I only really lost mutations on just her. Oh, go away. <laughs> did I lose anything else? I don't think I did, actually. Right, I think I only spazzed out on the one. Right, there's that over there. Which I'm a little bit... Oh, is that actually working? Oh, it is. Right, okay, so, uh, lesson learned. I can't just sit around. Whee! And that didn't work either. Typical. What do we have over here, then? Oh, we have uh, nothing really of use. We've got another mutation that I think I've already got. Go chuck that down. Go ahead. Chuck that down. If it'll let me. Wait. I guess it has a cooldown. <laughs> and... Go ahead. Right, that's made a. Why, why, why aren't they following? Follow you, stupid things. Right, I'm just gonna hope they will teleport to me. That was made much more hectic than need be, but I think we've still got everything, so I think we're fine. All things considered, but uh, yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was very, very messy. Right, onwards to our next bits. Now, again, I'm really hoping my Trevor family don't follow me. I like how there's one just. Chilling there. Who is that? It's you. Okay. Oh, whoops. I. Oh, okay. That works. <laughs> Just casually switch cameras between the entire map. Oh, okay. I don't mind that. But anyway, uh, Azul's stuck down there. That's fine as long as it's down there and not in here. Uh, the rest of my family's all in that rock over there, apparently. <laughs> and oh, there we go. Yes. Yeah, so that is one of the static types have just fallen down. If I come down here and carefully jump on the. Oh, well, that was somewhat careful <laughs> that will burn the entire path the entire route that will ignite another stalactite and i think it will just keep on going and you know chain reacting from there Okay, you know what? That actually went really okay. Uh, the last time I did this, I had Trevor running all over the place and dying everywhere, but this has been way more orderly. Whee! 
I got a nice little special chest full of minerals from what I can see. I'm just gonna quickly go ahead then and just chuck that away in there for now then. Another, another one of these. Yeah, thank you. I don't need that anymore either. I'm still collecting, by the way, because I can actually convert these into bombs. And I think giving them mutations for the bomb maker will give you better things. I'm not entirely sure about that, but it's worth a try. I will chuck these meteorites into you. Uh, do I have a spare or place for that? I do not. I'll just chuck you in there as well instead then. And we have the cylindrical ones we needed for... Uh, which one was that one for then? We definitely need that for, oh, there it is, for the mineral, ah, permanent mineral processor. Okay, so I didn't have it, I do now. Fantastic. Sweet, really happy about that. Now then, aha, uh -huh. there is our elder, but how do I get to him? The piss an entire path there to the right. But I don't see how I actually get there. Um, wait, how, how do I actually get there? These are leaping legs as well. I'm going to turn it into another magnum and do it that way. So, yeet. Float up there. Oh, is that actually a way to like, get here normally? Wait, what is this? It's an entire backwards path. There's a door here. Did I, did I skip something? I don't think that's intended because the prompt was down there. Oh, well, I'm not going to complain either. <laughs> Right, well, success is success. Let's go ahead and see what you have to say then. The elder saw sadness in the Trebum's eyes and gave them words of comfort. Do not mourn for me and my brother. I wish only that my end had been like his. For when we act in the service of others, we become greater than ourselves without losing who we are. I was afraid and stayed behind, and I am lesser for it. But I can feel the tremors in this cave, and I know soon my brother and I will be reunited. So, let me help you while I can. You are here to learn about the great lenses that power a Trebum palace. Wander in the desert, looking for the brightest glare you can find. Follow the glare until you find a great structure made of glass. You may have encountered one already, but to activate them, you will need a special mutation. The key to this mutation is held by the great Gar. Three lenses is all you need. And there are many left. Follow the glares, find the gar, and you will succeed. It is a task fit for the great heroes of old. But who says that ordinary little Trebum can't be heroes? Oh. Uh. Meanwhile, my Trebum was just glowing gold there, a little bit random. Right. So, poor guy. I mean, I don't really think he's a coward necessarily for hiding. Well. I mean, he chose a hell of a place to hide in. Uh, pun unintended. He really... Clack! Well. <laughs> it's a good thing I just got the mineral process as a permanent enchant mutation. Anyway. <laughs> Tell me, Clarak, why you do this? I guess you just had enough of my crap. Right, well, anyway. Um, yeah, Paul Trevor. Let's go ahead and just collect all of this then. And I think that is this cave done then, actually. I think we are completely finished here. And I think that is a good time to wrap up this episode because it sounds like we've got a lot ahead of us. So, as always, guys, thank you all very, very much for watching. I hope you've been enjoying it. Gotta say, except for Clarak just, you know, convincing Sudoku at the very end of there. Otherwise, that entire cave went really well. A lot better than my first time. And I'm quite pleased about that. So, thank you all very much. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Cheers.